Okay, so today I was going to go out and started to do some gardening, but instead I got a call from my friend who had told me that she got some rare plant from um, Florida. So she invited me over to her house and of course I ended up got it I got a lot of seeds and a lot of cuttings. Um, basically, these are some flowers. I forgot what's the name of these flowers, but they are cuttings and I am going to actually root them. What I have here is uh, take root hor um, rooting hormones and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle some into this pot of water, right? And then I'm going to put some in here too as well the rooting hormone powder um, and then I don't have time to put them directly in the soil so I'm just gonna let them um, take root in here in the um, in the water and once they take root I can put them into the soil because I came back to the house very late and I don't have time to um, get them to root so obviously you take out all the dead leaves make sure it's a little bit clean and what you want to do is um, trim the root at a diagonal um, like that slanted so that way the the plant can um, soak up the goodness in the water so as you can see here this root is dry so that mean it's been out of the main plant for a while so I trim it diagonally like so and um, I wanted to trim see how it's damaged right here so I trim it to where there's no damage at the bottom of the um, stalk and I'm going to put it directly in rooting hormone water. Now these flowers are uh, succulent like flowers so they're very easy to take root. These are called, these are um, purple flowers but they're rare. Um, they are called cream ripped, cream of root. So what I'm going to do is I have the smaller version here. This is water with rooting hormones and I'm going to put the cutting. I'm going to try to root as much as many as I possibly can um, because this is from my understanding, it's harder to root and it's very finicky. So I wanted to see if I can, this is my first time rooting it. So I wanna make sure that I get as much out of my cutting as possible, uh, as I possibly can, because this is, this particular flower is tropical. And it's, it's from uh, Florida, so it likes warm weather. Because it's winter now, I have to really take care of these cuttings. Otherwise, it will not take roots. And as you can see here, I have a long, big, long, healthy cuttings. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the cuttings into three to make to try to turn it into three plants. So I'm just going to take the leaf out here and possibly I'm gonna cut it right here and I'm gonna cut, take these leaves out and I'm gonna cut it right here so there I am trying to form like three plants from one cutting um, I'm going to keep these in under the eave, close to the house, away from the weather. Keep them in a shaded area so that way um, they can produce root. Um, just so that way 
they are not going to get frostbite or they're not going to get uh, beat up by the weather. On another thing you want to keep in mind when you start rooting things is that you don't want the leaves touching the water. So if it's down like this, this is too too much water for them. It might not take root. So you want to make sure that the leaf does not touch the water. And if it does, you have to move it into a smaller um, pot. But I hope these takes roots and I will be able to have more plants. Um, she told me the name of this flower. It looks like a, it looks like, um, what you call it? Uh, white daisies but it's actually not a white it's in the daisy family but it's not a white daisies um, and then she gave me some seeds to one of her flower too that I'm gonna start um, so I'm gonna put that aside I'm actually going to try to propagate and root this plant because she just basically pulled it out of her garden and honestly, I don't have time or patience to put this into soil or into a pot right now. So instead of trying to grow the plant right away, I'm gonna try to propagate it. Um, now this one, it's very leafy. So what you can do is you can take some of the leaf out from its stalk, right? So that way, um, especially the yellow leaves the brown leaves the dead leaf take some of it out and i'm basically stripping some of the leaf out of the main stalks so that way it give it more um, manicure and easier to take roots and once again i'm going to stick it into the water with rooting hormones and make sure that the leaves does not touch the water because if it touched the water, it might lead to um, like it will rot, and uh, you don't want that. If you have, if you don't look at your your rooting for a very long time, like a week or two or three or even months, to see if it takes place, and if there's um, leaves in the water, it will rot, and then it will affect the rooting process of your plant so basically I'm gonna cut here clean out all the yellow leaves and manicure it a little bit give it a little bit trimmings and I'm gonna stick it into my rooting hormones water here like so um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this in the ground or in a pot tomorrow. Um, hopefully it will um, it will live for me, but if not, I have two cuttings there. This is a very it's a very hardy flower. so she said I could um, I don't have to grow them right away. Now when I got these flowers are purple and they're tiny cute little purple flowers that I got. I also have some um, seeds in here that she gave me. The flower is pink and is so pretty, but I have to dry out the seeds. I have not yet done it because um, I just got back to the house not too long ago and I don't have, um, I did not have time. I did not have time to um, get it all clean out so all my rootings are done I'm gonna put it underneath Eve so that way it start taking roots for me and then I also have a cutting from her she gave me a white uh, um, Iplifilium uh, plant and um, I'm just gonna soak that into rooting hormones too I don't have time to put it in the soil because it's about like 9, 10 o'clock here. And so it's, it's kind of very late. Now, um, 